let's start from the beginning. I am a person who needs change to keep their creative flow going and their, you know, creativity alive and well. And I need change to also keep me interested in whatever I'm doing. There's no real recipe for what that change needs to be. But I also have another side of me. And that is the fact that every now and then, if I do something, I really do it. And I might go, go big. I think this would be classified as that. So about a week ago now, uh, I took all of my camera bodies and lenses and sold them. What? How are you recording this video then? Well, I sold them to get a new camera body and a new lens. I have now completely switched systems. It's not a Lumix, it's not a Sony, it is something else. And the reason for this is pretty much that uh, I've been stagnating this whole year quite a bit. I haven't been shooting almost at all anything besides what I need to do and outside of anything paid I've pretty much haven't done anything. Some time ago now, uh, maybe like a month ago or a bit longer, I was looking at my cameras and while I absolutely love the Sony a6400 and the Lumix GH5 that I had, they were fantastic cameras, but they were the best way I figured out how to explain what I mean when I'm what I'm saying is that they were exceptionally good tools. Now, the ca a camera is always a tool, right? Those two cameras, while as great as they were, had no character. I've been looking at options on what to switch to so that I could find something that has character that would be a big change that would then juice, start those juices flowing again. And I had been looking at Fuji for a little while. I know there's a lot of good, great options from Fuji. I had the XT32, 30 Mark II, in my sights for quite a while, and I would I was planning on getting that, replacing the GH5 or the A6400 with that, so that I would have like a cool, like a characterful, that's not a word, ph photography camera. And I was like this close to doing that, but then I thought, hell, what if we just go all in? So there's a camera shop in Tampere, uh, that the city where I live, that has that sells used stuff as most camera shops do, and they had a Fuji XT4 for sale, but not in their store in Tampere. And when I went to look at where that is, well, it was in their store in Sweden. Sweden is not Finland. So that's another country. A little geography less. So I just thought, what the hell, I'll ask. And I sent them a, an email asking, hey, do you, my, would, would it be possible for you to send that used camera body to your store here in Tampere so I could check it out? And I sent that message and I didn't think anything would become of it and I forgot about it. Maybe a week later, I got notified that, hey, we've sent the body to the store so that you can check it out. I was like, damn, really? Well, okay then. I had no idea how long that would take. So I was like, I really need to get to work on that GH5 review video that I promised you guys. A couple of days later, 
I kid you not, I was halfway through writing the script for the GH5 review. You can see it right here. When I got the message that, hey, number one, the X-T4 body is now in the store for you to check out. Number two, there's someone else also interested in it. So, I mean, if you want to come take a look at it, you'd better come soon. Well, I stopped writing that review and I left. And I was planning that I would sell the Sony and the small A5100 that I still had. And all of those lens and the extra Panasonic lenses that I had, and I would get the body. Well, when I got to the store and I looked at the magnificent body that the X-T4 is, it is a beautiful thing. It's the silver version. It's so, mm, chef's kiss. It's just a beautiful camera. I was like, I need to shoot this. This is what I needed. And when I took the stuff in and the uh, woman at the counter tallied everything up that what they could offer as a price for the stuff that I was taking in, she was like, yeah, this is almost uh, one to one. So you'll get this body in exchange for this stuff that you brought. But I also needed a lens and I wasn't really feeling like spending uh, five, six, 700 euros on a lens right there. So I was like, uh, I have this GH5 back home with the Leica lens. What could I get for that? And she looked at the stuff that they had sold and what at what at what price had they sold that stuff and what price that had they bought that stuff and what they had in stock as lenses for the Fuji because I wanted a zoom lens. And she was like, yeah, okay, so we have this 16 to 80 F4 for Fuji. That's what we're using right now. And um, I think we can make it one-to-one -one with all that stuff. You can get a bit like a few extra things if you get that GH5 for it. So I got out of there, one hour left until they close. I hopped on an electric scooter, rode here, to my home, picked up my stuff, rode back there and made the change, made the exchange. Yeah, that's that's the word. That's the word that I'm looking for, exchange. And I'm very aware that I got the short end of the stick. I would have been able to get probably a few hundreds more if I had sold them myself, like, like a person to person, but I mean, I'm an impatient guy to my own detriment. And out of that, I got a beautiful camera, a great, like a beginning lens. I'm gonna get a lot of primes for this. But as a starter set, this is fantastic. And that's what I'm using to shoot right now, the Fujifilm X-T4. And I have the Rode Video Mic Go 2 on it. And I, I've just fallen in love with this thing. I can't wait to shoot it more. I've tried all, all the film simulations. It has in-body stabilization. It, I can't stress the beauty enough. And all, the, all of the video features are everything that I need. It's been fantastic having a Sony and a Lumix. And I owe a lot to Sony because that system got me started and got me from nothing to where I am right now. So thank you Lumix, Panasonic and thank you Sony so much for everything. But I'm a Fuji shooter now. That feels weird to say. It's a it's a whole new world, I guess. Okay. 
Uh, take care, everyone. Have a great rest of your week. I will see you all next time. I don't know what, what's going to happen now. But that GH5 review, is, it's probably going to be a little while <laughs> until I can make it. I need to get another one somewhere. Okay, enough rambling. Have a great rest of your week. I'll see you all next time. Bye.